Hey everyone, in this video what I want to do is I want to share with you the number one reason why uh, people, I commonly see people in my practice that have normal thyroid hormone levels, they, they're told everything is normal but they still have symptoms. Okay, so the number one reason why your labs may look fine but you still have symptoms is because of the autoimmune process or an autoimmune process that produces inflammation. Okay, we know that with inflammation, with autoimmune processes, your body will produce these inflammatory chemicals called cytokines. Okay, these cytokines can wreak havoc throughout your physiology, not just with your thyroid. Okay, so the number one reason is when you have increased cytokines, one of the things that it does is it decreases the response of your cell to your thyroid hormone. So what that means, if you if you look at the video that I did, um, I created a white whiteboard video where I walk through the production of the thyroid hormone in the brain, and then all where, where it starts there and then it ends in the cell. And I talk about when the thyroid hormone attaches to the DNA in the cell, it stimulates what we call a proteomic response, or this stimulates the cell to function and drive the cell. So whenever you have these high levels of cytokines, your cells do not respond to your thyroid hormone efficiently. So you can still have low thyroid symptoms when you have these high cytokines, even though everything looks normal. And so people are constantly trying to find you know, the next medication or the better medication, or maybe I need more T3, and they go to their doctors, and because their doctors don't understand these mechanisms, and they don't understand that it's not something that actually it might be something that should not be approached using a thyroid hormone. I mean, not saying you don't need it, but you might not need more. And that's not that, that's not the answer. It's, it, this is something that you have to address the driver of the inflammation. And if that's due to an autoimmune process, which is the most common thing we see by far, and usually that's Hashimoto's or another autoimmune condition, then you have to address the drivers or causes of the autoimmunity. If you don't do that, then these inflammatory chemicals stay high, and you still have this decreased response to your thyroid hormone, and you still feel bad. So I just wanted to share that information with you guys. If you have any questions or you need anything, just let us know. Thanks.